Okay, this how-to video is gonna talk about the AllCAD property editor. So the property editor is available for components, nets, pins, and it allows you to add properties to those objects um, that may be used for a bill of materials or may be used for um, a net list, for example, going into PCB editor. Um, you can also transfer properties using the property editor into PCB editor. So you can actually have information, part numbers, etc., in your PCB design. So to access the property editor, we can do it two ways. We can either select a part or a net and do a right click and then use the edit properties and that will bring up the property editor. Or we can double click the object. So I could literally just double click the object and that would also launch the property editor. So what's currently shown is the current properties. There's some filters at the top here and allow me to pick which filters I want to use. The current properties will show me the current available properties for that part. If I look at a PCB designer, it would show me all the properties that are suitable for an Allegro PCB designer. I can add new properties um, by using the new property button. So I click on new property, type in the name of the property. So my property, for example, and hit OK. That would then add that property and then I could populate the value. So maybe I want to put the property is Steve. Um, I could also select that and do a right mouse, uh, sorry, hit the display button or a right mouse button and if I want to display it on the screen I could I'd say value or do not display you've got choices there for how you if you want to display those properties once the properties have been set that's there permanently on that part in the schematic and I can then use that in a bill of materials or I can use that in a um, in a net list um, for net based properties obviously I can double click a net and look at look at the properties for that net and again the same similar kind of filters apply the thing to note with uh, net-based properties is, is if you start using the constraint manager flow, so obviously there's, there is a constraint manager flow where you can launch and activate constraint manager from within AllCAD Capture. All the properties then um, are no longer accessed using the property editor. They would only be accessed through constraint manager. So as soon as you go into a constraint manager flow, that's key to, to, to note that um, all the properties are only available in constraint manager.